A connection has been the key ingredient for Death Stranding ever since it was announced back in 2016. Umbilical cords attached to organisms, living beings securing what they have left, and key objects like handcuffs or a dog tag necklace that represent that nobody is alone. There is something that associates everything to everyone. All that is left in this universe is hanging on by a thread, and that connection is all one can depend on. After watching the third trailer, we are one step closer to grasping Death Stranding's true meaning, and it is becoming more apparent now more than ever. With a mere 16 minutes of cinematic footage from the game's trailers, with 3 minutes in the first trailer and 5 in the second, the third trailer doubles the amount of footage we had prior to it, and every minute of these trailers means everything. But the question is, how do these trailers connect and what makes them so important? Let's dive into it. I am the old Tin Man and if you're new to these analysis videos, click the subscribe button below and keep an eye out for more Death Stranding analysis videos. If you want to be notified when my newest video is released, click the bell notification button. Let's start by discussing why each trailer is substantial to further uncovering Death Stranding's value. Even though they all connect, they all have their own differences that make them unique, which challenges the viewer to unearth its secrets. There is something that is presented in each individual trailer that contrasts its neighboring siblings. A singular theme. The initial trailer, which came out at E3 2016, depicts life and a new beginning. The second trailer, releasing at the Game Awards of 2016, depicts mass destruction and a demolished society. The third, releasing at the Game Awards of 2017, depicts a much darker and profound theme, death and horror. After watching the first two trailers, we couldn't grasp a great portion of what type of game we would see, and what it truly means. But after viewing the third and latest trailer, we can materialize a greater meaning to Death Stranding. Kojima introduces a conflict in this trailer that says so much through character interaction and survival instincts, which before we had very little if none at all. As a matter of fact, it is here when we first visualize someone who dies. Not only that, every human character finds their fate, even Norman Reedus' character Sam. With a game like Death Stranding, we never question where death actually comes into play, which should tell you how important this trailer actually is. Although the third trailer explores the Death Stranding universe thoroughly, the previous trailers are the stepping stones to better interpret why this trailer is so important. Even though each trailer has its differences, they depend on one another to clarify Death Stranding's concept. Now I have discussed parallel dimensions in the past, and by now it won't be news that most of us are theorizing that each trailer runs alongside one another. Although, if they all were to play simultaneously, there doesn't seem to be any noticeable relations if they were all synchronized from beginning to end. Of course, there is the theory that one baby disappears from one trailer to another, and Mad's gestures in the second is precisely the same as the one we see in the third. But connecting all this together would mean arranging all the trailers to start at different times. Lining up all these trailers is simple enough, and it is actually quite interesting to examine, but I think there is much more than comparing the character's actions rippling into another trailer. So let's talk about technical details such as camera migration, environment setting, and other hidden details. Ever since the third trailer has come out, I have been looking closely at what each trailer might prove to demonstrate. There are some technical details I found that are so significant that it's bizarre. Each trailer has something extraordinary to declare to the audience. In a way, the viewer's approach changes orbit for each trailer. We transition between each of them as if we were to be turned around and asked to flip everything upside down. We have the same course, but everything is shaped asymmetrically. We have the same cinematic camera panning as if we were being directed in the same manner, such as the slow pan revealing the environment or a stationary panning out that marks the conclusion. Which brings me to the placement of each trailer, which actually should be examined closer. Kojima and his team are teasing a game that slowly becomes more grim the further we get into it. Something that has been cleverly hidden in plain sight is how the brightness has changed throughout the teasers. From the first to the third trailer, the lighting becomes more dark and murky. The colors become more dense from beginning to end, even the conclusion of the third trailer, which is the brightest part of it, the sky is much dimmer than those in the earlier trailers. Even the audio for the game has calmly become more dynamic since the game's birth. In the first trailer, the only audio we hear is low roars all keep coming, until the final minute when Sam stands and stares at the floating figures. At this time, you can hear Sam's dog tags and the beach, as well as a distorted pitch to match the tone of the song's outro. 
In the second, we hear sound effects throughout the entire trailer. Environmental sounds, Del Toro's body movements, and even the skeleton army's static. It is also in this trailer that we hear the first music score for the game, which plays in the second half of the trailer. And it's in the third trailer when we hear the first dialogue for the game. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. The game is at this time in full stereo, complete with a musical score, voice acting, and sound effects. It's almost as if we are seeing the game mature before our very eyes, much like a baby. Thankfully, not as slowly. But what does the brightness and audio change have to do with Death Stranding? With one major element in these trailers declining, another is flourishing. Just like we see in the game, society is diminishing, but life still grows as we see with the billion babies so far. Perhaps we are experiencing what it means to travel between these separate dimensions slash trailers. Someone who travels through time and space to another reality could be affected in a positive or negative way. I'm guessing mostly negative. We have already seen rain manipulate time, so it wouldn't be too far off to say that traversing in this universe, if possible, could affect how one perceives their environment. The audience are the ones experiencing these trailers after all, and if we are indeed observing different timelines that run parallel, we are the ones being affected. If the change simply symbolizes the growth of the game, it could possibly hint that what we see next in the game might be the next step in the promotion process, a gameplay trailer. Perhaps the audio and brightness resemble a timer, since it would be difficult to make the next trailer even darker and you can't add any more elements to the audio. Gameplay could be the next step. What do you guys make out of these changing components? As usual, we are still missing some key ingredients in these trailers, which we can only hope to bring to light in the upcoming trailer. Either way, there is still much to discover that is still at arm's length. Kojima has put out the bait, we just need to catch it. I have no doubt that I'll further my discussion on the trailer connection in a future video, but for now let's look outside the box and imagine what is going on behind the camera. I still want to talk about the handprints, the monster, and many other topics, so stay tuned. Thank you everyone for watching this analysis, click the subscribe button or I'll never love you. That's all I gotta say. Also, make sure you spread your death stranding love to me on Twitter. Love for love. What do you want me to analyze next? Thank you once again, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you.